Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I've got 10 finishing drills to help you become more clinical in front of goal. Just before we get into them, I wanna say a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is where I've got my website, 7mlctraining.com. And from websites to analytics to marketing tools, they're the all-in-one place to grow your online presence and manage your business. But let's get into the exercises. The first drill is touch, shift, and shoot. So you fire the ball either into a rebounder or a training partner. You receive it back, you get the ball under control, you're stopping for a split second to engage the defender, and you're shifting the ball 45 degrees through one of the gates and then getting the shot off as quickly as possible within a couple of steps. So really important to get that touch under control first, slight pause, and then push the ball through the gates. Work on both right and left foot, but recommend going for 10 repetitions on either side. The second drill is the directional touch and shoot. So we're taking the touch all in one action this time. So instead of controlling it and then pushing it out of our feet, we immediately take that touch through those gates and then we're getting the shot off within a few steps or so. Just as the previous exercise, I'd recommend going for 10 repetitions on your right foot and then 10 repetitions on your left. The third drill is touch and stride and finish. So we're playing the ball either to a training partner or a rebounder at an angle. So the ball is returned into the space in front of you. And then you're taking the ball with your first touch in your stride. So I've put down a gate as a reference point for where to take the touch through. So we're working on accurate touches, getting it into the space in front of us so we can take the shot with our next touch. Go for 10 repetitions on your right foot and then 10 repetitions on your left. The fourth drill is first time finishing. So we're playing the ball to the rebounder at the same angle as we did before, where we were taking the ball in our stride, but this time we're gonna get the shot off first time. This is a really important skill to have as a striker or midfielder when you're running into the box and you receive a one-two. If you can get the shot off quickly without having to take a touch, you can catch the goalkeeper off guard. Really try to use the inside of the foot to guide it into the corners. This is going to be the most difficult for the goalkeeper to save. And as with the other exercises, go for 10 repetitions on your right foot and 10 on your left. The fifth shooting drill is an angled first time finish. So the rebounder is to the side of us so that the goal is on our shoulder. And then we play the ball into the rebounder, taking it first time, wrapping our hips around the ball so that we can guide it towards the goal. Very difficult finish to master, but really important and can get you a lot more goals. Work on 10 with the right foot and then 10 with the left. The sixth shooting drill is dribble and shoot. So we've got two cones placed about one step apart. It's just a quick feet action to get through the gate and then you're getting the ball out of your feet and then within one or two steps, you wanna get that shot away. It's really important to keep the ball close enough so that you can get the shot off quickly. You don't wanna take a long touch into the space, give the defender a chance to recover. So if you can shift it out and then step immediately into the shot, it's really gonna help you get a shot away before it's blocked. Drill seven is the through ball finish. So I've got the rebounder at the top of the box here. If you don't have a rebounder, just get a teammate to pass the ball in 45 degrees at an angle and make those diagonal runs. But the goal here is to get onto the ball quickly, accelerating onto it and getting that shot away across goal as quickly as you can. So as you can see, playing at an angle, then immediately accelerating onto the ball and then trying to get that shot across goal because this is the most difficult place for the goalkeeper to save from an angle. As always, go for 10 repetitions on your right foot and then 10 repetitions on your left. The eighth drill is spin and shoot. So we've got the rebounder in the same spot. 
This time we've got a few cones behind us, almost in an arrowhead shape. This is just a frame of reference of where you want to take your touch. So you're receiving the ball with your back to goal, you're spinning that defender, and then immediately want to get onto the ball and get that strike off. So try and get the strike off between two and three strides. It's really going to help you get that shot away before the defender has a chance to block it. Make sure you get an equal amount of repetitions on your right and left foot. I'd recommend going for 10 on each side. For drill nine, we're working on receiving that over the shoulder ball, which is a really important skill to have as a striker. If the midfielder clips it in over the back four and you can get onto it and control it over the shoulder, you're just gonna create more goal scoring opportunities for yourself. So I've got the rebounder at the top of the box. If you don't have a rebounder, just get a teammate to either throw the ball over your shoulder, or if you wanna make it match realistic, get them to play a long ball from deep in midfield, and then just work on getting that ball under control with one touch and then finishing it with your second touch. With all the other exercises, go through 10 repetitions, receiving it with one foot, and then 10 repetitions, receiving it with the other foot. And the final drill is first time volleys. Really important skill to have as a striker. If you have the ability to strike the ball out of the air without having to take a touch or get it on the ground, you're gonna catch the goalkeeper off guard. And the great thing about volleys is you can generate a lot of power behind the strike. So it doesn't always need to go right in the corner to have a chance of going in the back of the net. Because there's usually a cluster of players in the box and you're so close to the goal that the goalie doesn't have too much time to react. So even bobbling it along the ground or hitting it pretty central always has a chance of hitting the back of the net. So just work on hitting the target getting over the ball, keeping it under the crossbar, and you'll score a lot more goals by adding the volley into your repertoire. So there we have it, 10 finishing drills you can use to become more clinical in front of goal. And just before I go, I wanna say another huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is where I built my very own website, 7mlctraining.com, and it's become the central hub of my entire brand and allows me to put everything 7MLC training related in one place. And if you enjoyed today's exercises and you want a full structured program to take your finishing to the next level, I'd recommend checking out Golasso. I'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. But if you've ever considered building a website, and you don't know where to start, check out Squarespace. And if you use the link in my description, www.squarespace.com slash 7MLC, you can get 10% off your first website. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash the like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video.